This video describes how to recover a missing drive letter with Recover My Files data recovery software. The missing drive letter could be the result of a format or some other drive corruption, which means the drive letter is no longer displayed. Before we start with Recover My Files, it's usually a good idea to check in Windows Computer Management to make sure that your computer can currently see the problem drive. To do this in Vista, right click on the computer icon or in Windows XP, right click on My Computer. Then select Manage from the drop down menu. This will open the Windows Computer Management screen and in this screen select the Disk Management option. The Disk Management screen lists all the drives and drive letters on your computer. Here we can see that there are two physical drives connected, the C drive, which is disk 0, and the external problem USB drive, which is disk 1. You can see here that disk 1 has no drive letter. It's a 74 gigabyte drive, but it's listed as unallocated. Now that we know that the computer can see that USB drive connected as a physical drive, disk 1, we can now run Recover My Files and recover the data from it. Click on the Recover My Files desktop icon to run Recover My Files. Now the Search Options wizard will open and you have two options, one to recover files and one to recover a drive. In this instance, we want to recover the entire drive. You should now be in the Drive Selection window, which displays all the physical disks connected to your computer and all the drive letters. So we select the physical drive to search and then press the next button. In the next window you get to choose between an automatic drive recovery and a drive recovery using selected file types. In almost all cases the automatic drive recovery is the best option. It uses a selection of specific file types to help find the missing file system. Select the automatic drive recovery and click start to begin the search. The first phase of the search will scan the drive looking for the entire missing drive letters. The green bar will move across the screen twice and it will take less than 10 minutes to complete. Once it finishes a petition search, if it finds a drive letter, it will now build and show the search results. If you see your files here, you can stop the search and then save your files. In this case, the entire drive letter wasn't found, so Recover My Files will continue with Search Phase 2, using the selected file types to search for individual file records. During Phase 2 of the search, Recover My Files will find and display the lost files. These are the file types that were selected in either automatic or manual mode. Lost files can be previewed by clicking on the Lost Files folder and then clicking on the individual files to show the preview in the bottom preview window of the results screen. Finding lost files is useful, but what we really want to find is the full file and folder structure. To do this, watch the file system records number near the progress bar. When this number increases rapidly and then remains stable, it means that it's read a file and folder structure. Here we can see that the file system records number has quickly jumped to 10,491. This means that Recover My Files has found a file and folder structure. We can continue the search to the end of the drive. However, 10,491 files equates to the number of digital photos that we lost from this drive. So we can now stop the search early and let that file and folder structure that has been located display in the results screen.
The file and folder structure that has been found is shown as a virtual partition in the Recover My Files results screen. You can now expand that and click on the individual files to preview their content. We can see from the preview that the file and folder structure has been found and can now be saved to another drive. Please see our video on saving files for more information.